Hello everyone, welcome to lecture 5 of PCT. Today we will discuss about modeling of emission lights. We start with uh, discussing about the performance criteria and then we discuss three cases short line, medium line, and long line. And finally, we introduce a um, definition of sur impedance loading. So if we look at the overhead transmission line, we know that the line can have the resistance R, inductance L, and capacitance C distributed uniformly along the whole length of the line. This is a schematic representation of a elemental length of a transmission line. Elemental length here is dx. Notice that there is a negligible four parameters sun conductance z. Here we assume that it's zero because we don't want to have any transmission line that have leakage current that much here. We cause a lot of losses. So the model that we want to develop will be used to calculate voltages, currents, and power flows in a transmission line. To do that, we need to classify the overhead transmission line into three categories. Short transmission lines, which is shorter than 80 kilometers. Medium transmission line, which is uh, longer than 80 kilometers, but shorter than 250 kilometers. And finally, long transmission lines, which should be longer than 250 kilometers. So, in order to develop that kind of model, we summarize the transmission line into a box of four parameters A, B, C, D, which are called transmission line constants. They are the parameters that link the sending and voltage and currents with the receiving end voltage and currents. Here we see that Vs equal A times Vr plus B times Ir and Is equals C times Vr plus D times Ir. If we rewrite this into a matrix form, we can see that the input at the sending end Vs and Is as a vector will be equal to the matrix A, B, C, D here, multiplying with the vector at the output VR and IR. After we establish that A, B, C, D model, we can look into the performance criteria by calculating two variables here. The first thing is voltage regulation. VR. It is defined as the difference in amplitude between the receiving end voltage in the case of having no load and the case of having full load installed. And then comparing with the full load voltage. Secondly, we need to look at the efficiency of the transmission line. So in general, the receiving power at the receiving end will be less than the power that is input into the sending end. And therefore, the efficiency eta here is calculated via PR over PS. For a short transmission line, Due to the small length and low voltage, the capacitance effect are small and hence can be neglected without much error. Here we only have the series impedance of resistance and uh, inductance. The Z here is the impedance of the line and is given as 
the whole resistance of the line plus the whole reactance of the line or it is given by the length of the line multiplying with the resistance of the line per unit length and the reactance of the line per unit length in this case the ABCD model is simple as 1Z01 for the medium line we cannot neglect the capacitance anymore the capacitance here however is assumed to be lumped or concentrated in form of capacitors um, and it is put in some points of the line depending on where we put the capacitors we can have nominal pi model or nominal t model in this lecture we just focus on nominal pi model like this so here we see that the impedance of the line stay the same as z equal r plus zx but we have two capacitors at the receiving end and sending end and z equal l times r plus j omega l y is j times omega c times l here you see that y is the capacitance of the whole transmission line but it is divided into two equal quantities and it is put at the sending end and receiving end in this case ABCD models is given like this it is 1 plus ZY over 2 Z and Y times 1 plus ZY over 4 1 plus ZY over 2 in case of the long transmission line we cannot lump the capacitance into any equivalent capacitor anymore we need to consider the line with distributed parameters at z equal r plus j omega l and y equal j omega c as per unit length so in this case after doing the calculation as shown in the textbook and the lecture notes we can derive the ABCD model for the transmission line having a length of L as ABCD equal cosine hyperbolic gamma L ZC sine hyperbolic gamma L 1 over ZC sine hyperbolic gamma L and cosine gamma uh, cosine hyperbolic gamma L here ZC is the characteristic impedance of the transmission line and it is given by ZC equals square root of Z over Y this has a unit of um because it is impedance and then gamma is called propagation constant and is given by gamma equal square root of Z times Y we can derive an equivalent pi model for the long line by comparing the um, ABCD models of the long transmission line with the ABCD model of a medium transmission line and if we do that we have um, the two parameters Z prime and Y prime as follows Z prime equal Let's see psi hyperbolic gamma L and Y prime over two equal one over let's see tangent hyperbolic gamma L over two. So assume that we have calculated the ABC model of the line we can base on that and calculating the voltage regulation and efficiency 
for example, as um, no load, IR will be zero because it's open circuit at the receiving end, and therefore VR at no load will equal VS over A, which is here. When it is full load, we have the relation between VR and IR depending on the load or VR equal uh, Z load times IR and based on that we can establish the relation between IS and VS based on VR and IR or we can calculate the VR as full load based on VS and after that we can plug everything back into this formula and calculate percentage VR the efficiency is given by PR over PS and is obtained by multiplying the voltage and the current together if we multiplying the voltage and current conjugate then we need to take the real part and then we compare the quantity at the receiving end and the sending end finally we consider um, sur impedance loading or SIL we consider the transmission line which is terminated by an impedance Z load equals to ZC which is the characteristic impedance of the line so in the case of a lot less transmission line ZC here has only the um, real part the load corresponding to the sur impedance at the relative voltage is called SIL or sur impedance loading is given by SIL equals 3 times VR times IR conjugate which is actually the power at the receiving end of the case of three phase in this case because let's see here is only resistive so this one will equal 3 times VR square over ZC notice that this VR is the single phase uh, voltage or phase to neutral voltage and in this case because this is single phase voltage it is actually the line to line voltage over square root of 3 and if we square it up multiplying by 3 we have the line to line voltage in this case it is kilovolt rated square over the characteristic impedance let's see and if we use uh, the uh, voltage as kilovolt then we have the SIL as a megawatt for a lot less line under sur impedance loading condition the voltage and current at any point along the lines are constant in magnitude and equal to the setting ends values that means we have a very interesting case that the voltage here has the magnitude constant the ZC or impedance uh, the characteristic impedance has no reactive components and there is no reactive power in the line and we have the interesting case that uh, the power, uh, the uh, the power factor of the line is unity. So this is the end of the uh, today's lecture.
for your homework please do tutorial 5